Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. I'm Peter Loshak. This is the MLB Odds Couple Show for uh, Tuesday, May 10th. Sitting next to is Mike Brenner. Uh, Mike Brenner, things are chugging along here chugging along. in this show. I had a profitable day. You had a profitable day. I'm almost po- Let's throw the record up. I'm almost up to positive. You're continue, continue to be way up yeah, overall. Pistol Pete, though, I got to commend you on these second half tweets. I got yeah. bloggers that are saying, thanks, Pete. Thanks, Pete. You're cashing tickets. What's well, your second? What's your, your Well, my, tweet? O- my overall Twitter record is my ROI is about plus 6% Fantastic. over about. I mean, now, you know, and it's funny because that. That, obviously, that includes a lot of losers. You know, that's about fifty-eight percent winners at about. And it's not rate. on a small sample size. No, no, it's a, it's a bunch of. But if you're going to tail someone, whether it's me or any other handicapper, you got to use money management because the that's losers it. will come. You yep. know, if you yep. want to think, uh, you know, oh, I'm going to tail Pete's tweets because they seem profitable. I expect them to be profitable going forward. But if you don't use proper money management, you and will that's lose on you. anyway. That's right. And that's and on the viewer. Yes, and yeah. that is whether you're tailing me, you, any other handicapper, yeah. or betting just yourself. It's, it's the most important. Important yep. factor in what we do if you want to handle like a business and make money. But my hat's off. Yep. Very good job. So half. get it. Let's get. Let's get down to the uh, the day, the uh, card today. I got. Um, I have a few picks. Uh, let's start out with, with with my picks, and then we'll okay. get to the interesting stuff. How many picks do you have for us today? I'm going to have four or five. Four or five. Yeah. Okay. Well, the first one that I'm going to give is um, one that I bet on the open. I didn't tweet it out because I wanted to uh, hold off to uh, to look for some more information. But uh, Holland, t- yeah. w- the White Sox and Texas, right? Holland yeah. got crushed last time out, right? He sure did. And Rodon has a lot of um, a lot of potential. Uh, usually good. Sometimes get crushed. Gets crushed. I'm going with the uh, under nine and a half Ooh. in White Sox Texas. It's it's getting bet down a few uh, minutes ago. It was I could have had minus one ten, but since we uh, have to take the line when we start shooting, I have to take minus one fifteen. Okay. The line is headed down, but I'm going to give under nine and a half in White Sox, Texas, minus 115. I think Colin's going to have a bounce back start. And if Rodon gets crushed, fine. Well, again, I'm not a totals guy, Pete, but that seems to make sense, and especially the way these two teams are playing yeah. right now. And I think he does bounce back as well and tightens okay. up the ship. So good Pick call there. number two for me. <laughs> Cle- pistol Cle- Pete. Cle- 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 off early, baby. Cleveland at Houston. This guy. Oh, did- they let me down yesterday. Kluber. Yeah. He just got pounded. You that know, was two of my, my losses. We both had two. We both had uh, uh, Mats, and we both had Kluber, and uh, I was I felt really good about Mats. I wound up tweeting it out, including in my Twitter picks. Yep, I didn't it. include the Kluber one. I was like, at, as a yeah, Wish you would have tweeted that to yeah. me, Pistol Pete. As it Jesus, got come to on first now. Pitch, I was like, man, I don't feel good about this. Yeah. But, I did, but I did. I did tweet out the Mats one. Anyway, we got to Cleveland at Houston, and um, this guy Devensky is starting for Houston. He's ke- coming out of the bullpen. He's making his third start. He's been okay so far. Uh, I'm going to take Houston here. It's yeah. more though of a fate of Bauer. I'm just not okay. a believer in Bauer. Yeah, you said one that way last or another, week. this guy uh, I think gets hit. Uh, the line is very modest. Houston on the first five innings minus 120. That's my second pick. Well, Pete, you know, not, I, could, I couldn't try to. Th- Talk you off the ledge on that one whatsoever because Houston's bats are coming alive. Cleveland showing that they're being inconsistent. Uh, for me personally, got to sit back, but I don't know. Something tells me Cleveland might roar back today, but so? I'm, that's just what my thought was. I'm not putting it out there. I'm not using it as a pick, but something really strong right. told okay, me Okay, well, so. first five innings, I'm going to take Houston. Those are, those are two picks for me. Let's see. We got some other uh, interesting games. Uh, well, you took a rain out with your Cubs pick uh, with Lester, and now he's starting today. Are you staying off of that? Yeah, no, I'm going to jump all okay, over, but I couldn't it. find a first half um, – uh, excuse me, a full game run line is what a I like game, on that. Yeah, okay, you can take, you want to take the pinnacle opener? Yes, I will. Okay. I'll take the pinnacle opener for the full game run line. And yesterday we did the same, and I think it yeah. came out at 119. One, 119, yes. Okay, so should be about the same Should today. be about the same, but I'm feeling confident with that. I think an extra day's rest for Lester. This team is excited. Now it's just, is it going to stop raining enough for them to get it in? And I hope they do. Okay, fair enough. And then uh, let's see, what else do we have here? We have, um, well, you tweeted out one of your big tweets that you, you forgot to give on our show, but you tweeted out big time. Yeah. Yeah. Was Toronto, right? Run line Toronto cashed big time and you yesterday. You tweeted that out. You made a big tweet, right? I did. I tweeted it out several times. I also uh, included it on the Periscope because that one just slipped. It, it, it overlooked me yesterday. I said to you right. personally yeah, outside you did. of the That's film, I said, true. "Damn, Pete, He's I like, forgot." Man, to- I forgot to talk about Toronto, and yep. you blasted it out to all your followers. Wound yes. up cashing. Yeah. Well, we have another similar situation here. I'm very modest line on Toronto. Matt Cain also been uh, very hittable, not yes. getting it done. Yes. And J.A. Happ, a career renaissance. I think it's it's at least for the time being legitimate. Yeah. I think we can expect them to be uh, overall pretty decent going forward, if not lights out. Uh, what do you like, Toronto again? I, think, I do, and I like them on the first half run line. I okay. grabbed that at plus 120, and you can check it for me, line shopper. You might grab it even more than that. Okay, well, I don't have the first half of run lines here, but... Uh, okay. the, it was yeah, 120. Okay. It was Sounds at uh, Pinnacle, and okay. I also got the full game run line at Pinnacle, plus 138. 
the full game run is line. Is still available, Pistol Plus Pete? 138, yep. yes it is. Okay, okay. So you, I like it. I think uh, the momentum continues. Haps 4-0, it's not a, he's not, you know, he's legit. I think right. he is legit. Plus when he knows he's got some bats coming alive. And the Met, the most uh, interesting fact I like about this is Kane, Matt Kane. Yeah. I faded him last time yeah. and, and pounded yeah. the, pounded Me too. him. Yeah, I'm, I'm, in general, he's a, he's a guy, he's not quite an auto fade, but he's definitely a guy yeah. I'm looking to. Uh, and he's just that guy that signed that huge contract. And you know what? He's still decent, but he just doesn't have that fire he mm -hmm. had. And what I noticed is when he gets roped, he gets down on himself. So I'm looking for Toronto, Toronto to take advantage of that tonight and cash that first half run line and the full game run line, Pistol okay, Pete. Okay, sounds good. And then another uh, game that's interesting, it's tempting, it's just too high of a line. Line, right, KC at the Yankees. Tanaka oh, is that, Kanaka, yeah. Tanaka, you know, getting hey. it done, coming off yes. a great start. He yes. seems very reliable. And Medlin, you fade him, faded him last time. He looks like he's having real issues. Would love to take the Yankees, but right now minus yeah. one eighty. Yeah, if it, and I'm not willing to Just do the run high. line. If it, yeah, and I think it is a little overpriced, but. Uh, Tanaka burnt me last time. He mm -hmm. looked real good. I don't yeah. see any reason why he won't come back and do the same. But, again, too high of a line for me, Pistol Pete. Right. Team football. Makes sense. And then another similar game that uh, that I really want to take, but they're but they're asking a high price, is uh, Washington with Joe yeah. Ross. This yeah. guy has a big arm. Ooh, and, you, you've uh, got a good feel for yeah, him. Yeah. It's just, you know, if you want to take Washington on the full game right now, you're looking at 165, 60, 170. Yeah. And that coupled with the fact that now Bryce Harper is absolutely, this guy's frustrated. He's pissed off. They are just hack-a-shacking him every time they're yeah. putting, they're walking Walking and walking and walking him. Smart. Yeah, smart. smart. And smart. last night his frustration showed he was in the dugout screaming at the ump for someone else's ball and strike count and got ejected. So yeah. you can tell it's getting to him. It's never been done like this before. And they're going to keep doing it from what I'm reading. But staying off of that one is priced a little too high for me. But okay. Joe Ross definitely has what, what it takes. What else do you have for us, Joe? Um, Joe. Joe. Thank you. Call me Joe. You Remember that? You Mike can Renner. call me a bit. <laughs> I remember that song? Paul Simon back yeah. in the yeah. day? Yeah. Call me Al. Okay. Um, I, I'm going with the Marlins. I love okay. what's happening. This team has won 14 to 16. Mm -hmm. D, D who? D yeah. who? D Gordon? Yeah. yeah. Guess what? They replaced him fine. They're not missing him, and it's because of Don Mattingly. This guy is good. He's damn good, and I still think the Dodgers made a mistake. But Conley's on the mound. Yeah. Right, Two it, it, straight, uh, no run starts. Well, he looks great. Yeah. 1.11 whip. He is the real deal. And, and Davies is on Davies the Davies has yeah. got a 70 ERA. Yeah. His whip is 1.97. Yeah. I love it. The first half run line was okay. minus 110 Pistol Pete. Okay. And I also grabbed the full game run line. I believe it was at Heritage was plus 110. 136. Yep. Well, that's at Pinnacle. At Plus pinnacle, 136. Heritage yeah. has 135. We can yeah. give you the Pinnacle line, 136. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I like it. I think momentum goes a long way. And when a team, a young team especially, starts to believe in themselves and they play for a manager that's a team manager, a player's manager, yeah. it goes a long way. They get it done. They're at home. The bats will come alive. First half run line, full game run I'll line. I'll tell you what. On the overnight line, uh, I, 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 was, I was borderline betting uh, Miami on the minus one line. Yeah. And uh, it was so borderline that as we sit here right now, so I, can't, borderline. I can't even remember if I actually bet it or not. <laughs> I, was like, I was like sitting there for like 10 minutes, like, do I want to do this or not? So, uh, no yeah, peak. I certainly uh, see where you're coming from, and um, I, I can understand it. Uh, all right, do you have anything else? Yes, I do. Okay. I do. I have It's my big balls play uh -oh. of the day. Is it, does it involve the Angels in St. Louis? Yes, it does. Okay, because I have a play on that one, too. It's going to be a second half play on St. Louis. Okay, that's fine. I'm going... Full game run line on the Angels. Yes, you know Thank that you know that Simmons is out, right? And yes, Jelton Simmons. I know, okay. and uh, okay. that's okay. Okay. Because guess what? He hasn't really mm -hmm. done a hell of a mm -hmm. lot since they acquired him from the Braves. Sometimes when that happens, you get some no-name kid steps up, and yeah. says, "Here's my chance." Oh, and absolutely. He, and he yeah. pounds it. Except, that, except that Simmons was, uh, was is, is is a little hard to replace. He's he is. Defense. He's a great yeah. defensively. He's a, one yeah. of the best shortstops in baseball. Don't get me wrong. What I like about this is Pujols is in a one for thirteen slump prior to having a good you know five game streak. Well, he's facing his old club. You know, deep down, come on, those things are still there. This is my mental mm -hmm. edge play of the day. I think Pujols has a decent game. He might want put one out of the park. But I look for Mike Trout just to keep pouring it on. Cardinals are the Cardinals. Mike Lee can definitely yes. have those yes. moments yes. when he gets yes. roped. That's why I'm sure Pistol Pete's on the second half. Yeah. But I love it. Run line plus 170. Brenner's big ball play well, of the day, baby. I'm seeing plus 176 oh, at Heritage. Hell, I'm going to so, take um, it then. Give it to me, Heritage. A, I don't think that's it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and Santiago is a tricky guy. Uh, he's had two straight bad starts on I the know. road in hitters parks. Yep. He's, he's usually very reliable yep. and he comes home here. Exactly. Um, and that's why I like him to settle down yeah. at home. The lefty has what it takes to get it done. And I just think the Cardinals right now are a little bit out of whack. Mm -hmm. And I think LA is at that point also where it's either let's turn this shit on yeah. or let's or let's be fluttering. It might so. be a little bit tough to go into uh, LA after that long home trip. Yeah, uh, home so run. I'm yeah. loving it. Big balls play today. Plus 176. Thanks All right. Well, I'll, be, I'll be on St. Louis a second half, which should be about minus 120 or so. <laughs> uh, yeah, could get burned on that, but um, hey, 
I'm going to go with it. All right. We might like both it. cash that one. We'll see. We'll see how it turns That's out. That's happened before, Pistol yeah. Pete. It sure has. All right. Do you have anything else, Mike Brenner? No, I don't. I'm done. That's, I, I got six plays total, Pistol Pete, but I'm feeling really good about them. And again, there was a, that one game I, I was going to be all over today, Baltimore, to beat up on Phil Hughes, but because of that rain out yeah. last night, Barrios is going to get We still have to start. figure out what the situation is with that one. Yeah, exactly. Day. The so, whole Baltimore, and then Gossman is starting, and he's a guy. So the whole Minnesota Baltimore series, yeah. I have to reevaluate, go yeah. back, and, and figure out. And it's nothing personal game. against the Twins as Phil Hughes. But I'm going to be fading him this year. He's not with a great team, and when that yeah. happens, he doesn't have a lot of bats behind him. It mentally affects him. Keep that in mind, viewers. Okay, fade Bill Hughes. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So I, I'm I'm just going to stick with my three picks. Although review I very yours. well might tweet out uh, others tonight. Uh, what uh, review your picks, Mike? All friend. right, I sure will. Again, Marlins on the first half run line minus 110, and the full game run line plus 136. Toronto Blue Jays first half run line plus 120, full game run line plus 138. I'm going with the Cubs. Full game run line, and that's going to be the pinnacle opener, so we will post that. And then my last play, I'm all run lines today, baby. I'm loving it, Pistol yeah. Pete. My last one is big boss play of the day. Go Angels, baby. Run line plus 176. All right, and I'm on the uh, the White Sox under. I'm on the St. Louis second half. I'm on Houston on the uh, first half money line, and I'm going to also add Houston minus one, Dang. which uh, the, the money line part of that is minus 123, and the run line part of that is plus 166. So that should come out to about, you know, plus 120, 125 or something like that. That's four plays for me. I'm a believer. You think you think Cleveland's going to explode offensively? They might. They just might. But I'm staying off it. But I got a feeling it might happen. And my hat's off to you in these second half yeah. tweets. Good yeah. job, Pistol Pete. Keep right. up the good work. I got four plays. Mike Brenner's got a bunch of plays. And we'll be back for the Wednesday card tomorrow. I want to count them dollars. I don't want to count no stars.